Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to a new series I'm starting called The Reject Demon, Toko Chapter Zero Prelude. This game is about Toko, a demon who is uh, kicked out of hell and can't ferry human souls. And the longer she stays on Earth, the um, more human she becomes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Toko, it's not that bright. Stop squinting and look ahead of you. What? Uh, who, who's Clay? She takes a few moments to adjust the light, and a bleary shape slowly comes into focus. Who's that? Here you go, Toko. Um, we're at the park. Oh, she getting kicked out of hell right now? Here what goes, Daddy? Daddy? Her, her dad's kicking her out of hell? What kind of- What? That's her daddy? What the- Huh. Okay, he's got stars on his nipples there. Hmm. He looks like a rock star. The tall demon sighs, running a hand through his hair before putting on a big smile. This here is your first soul. She's going to die soon, and it's your job to do the reaping. Oh! So, her father is teaching her how to reap souls. But I don't want anyone to die, Daddy. Aww, that's adorable. The demon's smile grows a little strained before he crouches to meet his daughter's eyes. There's nothing we can do, Toko. If this girl is supposed to die, we have to be here to receive her soul. It's our job, and it's very important. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you don't do it, with a big daddy demon boss just kind of, you know, destroy you? But she... It's the natural order of things for these humans to die, sweetie. But she dies without us being there for her? Her soul will be lost to wander the earth forever. But, but is there a heaven? I mean, but what, what if there's a heaven and then, and then they get sent there? Because I mean, if there's a hell, there has to be a heaven, right? Like, you know, yin and yang? So we're actually helping her. I don't know about that. Hmm, sending someone to hell. He stands up straight again, brushing off his knees. Toko remains unenlightened by his argument. Though, it may seem just a little bit hard for you now, but ferrying these souls, we actually do a lot of good for these humans. It's also what we require to survive. Okay, I understand the, the, the last part that, you know, you, it requires you to survive, but lying to her about, you know, doing a lot of good for these humans. Hmm, that might come back to bite in the butt. I don't know. How come? Clay reaches out and pats her on the head. Like any kid, she often asks the hardest questions. Yeah, very hard. Well, huh. As you get older, you'll realize it, Toko. Us demons don't eat what these humans do. As you grow, you'll depend more on helping these souls to hell, so you can become big and strong. That's good, right? It's like drinking milk. The souls are like, are, you know, milk to them. He puffs up his chest, taking in the small kind of victory of a father trying his best, and turns Toko around, nudging her towards the girl in the distance. It's the only thing to do. Now go on, there isn't much time. Alright, where's this girl? Aww. The tall demon leaves Toko to perform her task. She takes a determined breath and focuses ahead. A little human girl, oblivious to the dangers present, is wandering towards the busy street. <gasps> oh no! She looks concerned, sniffling as she rubs her eyes. She takes another step off the sidewalk and into the street. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, hey! Toko grabs her hand and pulls the girl back. <gasps> Aww. Eep. 
the human girl turns around to look at the demon in surprise. Why are you crying? I, I, I lost my ball. And, and that's why you, you're, you go onto the street? Well, kids are very, you know, not observant of things. That's why you look both ways. Your ball? The girl sniffles again, nodding fervently. He squeezes Toko's hand. Uh-huh, my ball. I lost it somewhere. It's shiny and blue. Toko pauses, looking at the girl. Then at the busy street, a truck zooms by a little too closely, and they take a cautious step back. The human world sure is scary. Toko looks suddenly quite nervous before glancing down at the hand she is holding. Letting it go, the girl giggles. Uh, sorry. What? Human world? Hi. Hi, uh, you're missing your ball, right? Yes, change the subject. Good job, Toko. Toko quickly changes the subject while puffing up her chest and panning it with her hand. I hope you look for it. If we look together, we'll find it really fast. Hmm, I don't know what the father's doing right now, but I think he's very disappointed in her. Oh, okay. Thank you for finding my ball. The girl smiles, hugging it tightly to her chest. No problem, no problem. You're okay, right? The girl looks at the ball, then back up at Toko, humming. Hmm, does she not see her tail? Toko's tail? What? Your eyes are really funny. And my daddy's, I think. Hmm. He leans in curious. Where are you from? Well, um, demon land. Huh? Demon land? Are you a demon? I always heard they were scary, but you're nice. Oh. Well. Yeah, apparently telling her, telling the little girl the truth, you know, is a, a good sure way to, <laughs> to not scare her off. <laughs> Toko hops, twiddling her fingers. Demons can be scary sometimes, but I'm really brave. Toko pauses a bit and looks at her feet. Actually, Daddy says I'm supposed to find a soul, a human soul or something. The girl's eyes grow wide with curiosity and she shuffles in closer. A human soul? Yeah. Well, Mommy says everyone has a soul, so I doubt it's hard. It's going to be hard to find one. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, but uh, I don't think I can easily get one. But you, can, but you have me find my ball. Oh, I have an idea. He places her ball down, cautiously setting it between her feet, as though it might try to roll away without her. Then she pulls out a scrap of paper and a bright red crayon. I'll give you mine. If you you can borrow it for a while if you want. Oh, what? N no, wh she, what? Uh, what? She's gonna give Toko the, uh, a demon, a, her her soul. Huh? What? Huh? What? Do you understand the value of your soul, little girl? What are you doing? You can show your daddy this. It's definitely a soul. You just put so on a piece of paper. Yep, take it. Hmm. While she's sure this couldn't have been what Clay meant, Toko grabs the scrap. Hi. The girl gives a proud nod, picking up her ball again. I don't mind giving it to you since you need it, right? It'll definitely work. I don't think that's how that works. And I don't think you should be giving away your soul like that. Um, but that's... Toko pauses. That girl. Nadia? She must be a goddess or something. Apparently, because, you know, she's got all sparklies and stars around her face. Yep, that's awesome. Thanks, Nadia. I'm glad I could help you find your ball. But I have to go now. Daddy must be wondering why I'm taking so long. I, I'd help you anytime. Nadia shuffles a bit. I have a feeling we're gonna see her later on. I have a big feeling. Like she's gonna be like our best friend or something. And thank you, Toko. I should go home. You're a really great demon. I, I, thought, that's, <laughs> I thought I said lemon for some reason. The girl scampers off. Toko briefly looks down at the piece of paper and beams. Whew. Toko? Ah. So how did it go? 
The girl holds the paper up in beams. <laughs> oh, let's see how this goes. I got it. Clay looks puzzled for a moment and tilts his head, glancing at the human girl running off the street. Oh. Nothing happened to her? He gave you this instead and left? Yep. Coco folds the piece of paper and carefully puts it in her pocket. Did I do something wrong? No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Clay begins to wave his hands frantically. But inside, he, no, you know, he's frantically saying, Oh, no. You did the best you could. I'm proud of my little girl. But we, we better get back home quickly. Ah, uh, boy. I think she's going to kill me. Hmm. <laughs> The wife, as Clay walks back to the door to hell, Toko follows behind with her head still on earth. Did she tell me her name? Wait. I don't think, yeah, I don't think she... I don't think she told uh, Toko her name? And that's why I was like, Nadia? Like, how did she get Nadia? Or where? Oh, there she is, not yet. Oh, hello! Get up. It's another demon. Two demons. The reject demon. Toko. I'm pretty sure this is hell. And that's Mars. Uh, Toko. Looks like a tomboy. Oh. Nadia. There's like a nun. Yin Ho. King Ho. King Ho. I don't know. Devon. 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 And Pelatrix. The only demon kicked out of hell. A reject demon story. Ooh. Oh, you guys are excited for this. I am. Oh. Wow. Well, I'm going to end the episode here, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of the reject demon Toko chapter zero prelude. If you guys enjoyed it, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome episodes. Thank you everybody for watching this video and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! Oh. The round melons. Oh, oh no, look at your eyes. Yes, I like the round melon eyes. Yes.